ruined my intro. Welcome back to another Drum Tech POV. Today we're in Kansas City, Missouri. We're playing at the T-Mobile Center today. Bus calls in 30 minutes, but I decided to come out early. We played here on the uh, Avenged Sevenfold tour, and it was a cool, it was a cool arena. So I had to make it a point to do a video at this one this time around. Gonna be a good show. We got two days off after this, so this video will get edited and put out pretty quickly. Morning. Morning, sir. Morning, fellas. God, this is leaking too. Uh -huh. Someone didn't put the lid on this all the way. Wasting precious cold brew. Oh my God. Oh, it's bad. Kansas City Tinder, it never was a success. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's hilarious, dude. You're a big hit in the video, Evan. Today? The one I uploaded a few days ago. Really? Yeah. The fans want to go? <laughs> Yo, they might, that's and then that's I'm a featured guest. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Everybody was quoting you. It's funny. That's fucking going <laughs> in. Not hard. Yes, sir. There you go, buddy. Oh, you went? Sucks. Dude. Nice. Is that the yeah. that the the place you're talking about? Yeah. What? It, it's like a vintage store Whoa. called Wyco. Yo, these socks are insane. Always looking out, Chris. Thank you, man. Sure. Shout out, Waiko. Are you doing playback now? He's gone. Uh, G's still here. Oh. Okay. I'll just like, here I'll for do like it. Three or four more days? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is his last show. He yeah. leaves tomorrow. Oh, he leaves tomorrow? Yeah. We didn't park here. Oh, we didn't have a bus last time. I don't know which way to go. He's going that way. We've been here. This is where Pierce Oh, this is we played here on the Avenge tour. but we have a bus. What's up, dude? Hey. Ah, now I remember. How you doing? Wait, was this avenged? Yeah. Oh, Hello. Hey. The spot. Oh, they had good catering last time. Let's see where they're at. All right. Again, nothing but time. It is 10:26 right now. Catering. Oh, I'll get breakfast. It's got a little game room in it. What do we got? Classic K, never heard of it. You know, gotta have Pac Man. Shoot the hoops. Some racing sim stuff. Is this 
CSI racing? Big buck hunter, brother. Oh, what's this? Is it chess or something? Oh, battleship? You drag it? Oh, cool. to be broken. I say that every time because I think it every time. I'm 180 this so I can get to my stands. I went to a uh, yard house yeah, you didn't with, call Chris me. with Christian and Luke. Yeah. You didn't call me, what the fuck? My bad, man, my bad. Uh, I actually went to the yard house myself. Really? A yeah. lot of people went, ended up going to the yard yeah, house. Yeah, we just sit at the bar. The no t nothing, I was watching fucking bullshit, fucking the Pro Bowl, fucking uh, tag, fucking dodgeball. I'm like, they don't even play football anymore. What is that? <laughs> my bad person for not inviting JT out. No head changes today. Where were we last night? Oh, we were in South Dakota. South Dakota is a good show, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like a spectacular, like this is more spectacular than South Dakota. So I didn't film South Dakota. Sorry, South Dakota. Where were we, Sioux Falls? Yeah, real, real great place. Real fun, lots of stuff to do. But I didn't do a video, my bad. Oh, what was it? That's what I was like getting at. Oh, I changed Tom heads that day though. So you guys missed out on a head change. But you'll, you'll get another one. You'll get one eventually. For now, let's get these drums out. And start letting them defrost. It's actually nowhere near as cold as it was. The weather's much better in Kansas City than everywhere else I've been so far. I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> Yo, what's up, YouTube? How's it going? This is everybody's favorite laser guy, Evan. I got a lot of foot traffic by me today. It's hard to talk. Got a nice ripple in this head. Bless you. This will be the third show with this head. This will be the second show for these two heads, so we got some time with those. They'll be living on those drums for a couple more shows, a few more shows. We'll also be changing this kick drum head probably next week, about halfway through. We're a third, we're a third of the way through this tour right now, so I've got one more of these Power Stroke P3s, Black Dot. We'll throw that on there. I change kick drum heads just once a tour, halfway through. I don't really know how often other drum techs would change a kick drum head. Maybe I'll ask David, see what he thinks. Uh, these need to get signed by our boy and sold. I just collect show towels. One there, we got one here, one here, one back there, sticks. I think somewhere along the line, I mixed these up. This is supposed to go with this one. And this goes with the bullet stack. Oh, I'm gonna try and keep you guys updated on the time. So it's 10.47 now. I always forget, a lot of people ask to uh, like put 
asked me to put timestamps in the video so you can see, actually see how long the day is. And I always forget. But I brought the watch out so it's easier for me to do that now. So for hats, we're using the pure 14 inch pure alloy hats. We've been using these for a while. I think uh, actually the same pair for the last two, a little over two years I've been working with this band consistently. But we really like these ones. They're like really pronounced because this drummer does a lot of trap, trap inspired stuff and they got a real nice chick that cuts. I think we got a backup pair of those as well that's just been sitting in this bag for two years. Uh, this is kind of freaking me out. There's like music playing in the background constantly back here. This might, this could actually ruin the video. Hopefully it's not picking up this music. Some CCR though. Green River, great song. I could hear the bow from Colin Oh, and this is the Luke Holland signature bullet stack that we got over here along with a 18 inch Byzance China. Love this China, dude. This is such a great China. It's like musical sounding, but also heavy, you know what I mean? It's more of a lush, a lush sounding China. It's not like abrasive. I mean, it's still abrasive, it's a China, but you know what I mean? It's prettier. So we've got the 18 inch Byzance medium fin crash. Been using this one forever. This ride is sick. 21 inch C squared ride, the Chris Coleman signature one. This is a sick sounding ride too. It's got a super pronounced bell. Nice, some nice stick articulation. And it just looks badass. Looks like it's been buried outside for like years. It's like a relic. And last but not least, the Byzance 19 inch medium fin crash. He actually broke the OKC show, the Oklahoma video. He actually broke one of these, but he had been using it for a year and a half. A year and a half of touring on one crash, the main crash. That's amazing. I don't know how he does it. He never breaks anything. I blow through symbols. I'm just an oaf. So, but we only have one of these right now, so I put in an order yesterday for two spares. It's scary only having one. I mean, I have plenty other, I have plenty other 18 inch crashes. So, I mean, if need be, if need be, we would have, we could use one, an 18 inch over here, but that's not ideal. So we put an order in yesterday. <laughs> going there and I went down because I, I, I wasn't going to get sushi and I was down like uptown or midtown I was over in that area there but the place I was looking at was closed oh. I guess they never came back from COVID so I thought oh, it was a barbecue place I was like ah oh, fuck it okay so then I was, I'll just get back to the hotel and I, I didn't see anybody I saw Pip and his brother leaving like that so I just kind of walked up there yeah, I went to protein house for lunch and then immediately fell asleep in my room for like three hours and then it was like, yo, we're going to Yard House. And I just went down there. You didn't fucking call me. I see how the fuck you are. Okay. Am, I, am I a piece of shit, guys? Let me know in the comments if I'm a piece of shit. Is he running right now? Yeah. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> fucking up the camaraderie. I don't, I don't see the letter I in anything with drum tech. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me. Let's open this up, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll do this. I feel like you guys are gonna be underwhelmed at what's in my tech box. Like, I really don't use anything in here regularly, like, besides drum keys and drum polish. But, it'll make a nice little short video, something to change it up for the channel. This is a simple, shipment we got in Oklahoma City. I haven't even opened it because I don't need it. But 
let's take a look inside for you guys. None of these addresses are important, so don't try and be weird. It's literally Minel's address in the arena in Oklahoma, so public knowledge. I believe there's two 18-inch crashes in here. Or, I mean, China's. Yeah. Two fresh boys. Very nice. We're set. We're set for the rest of the year, probably. Like I said, he never breaks symbols. It's, it's amazing. It truly is amazing. I don't want to take him out. The box fits nicely in the boat, so I'm just leaving it. That'll do. These aren't that cold. They're still pretty cold, but I'm not gonna tune them right now. It's not even 11 o'clock. We don't, we don't get access to the stage for another th four hours. So I've got plenty of time to just let these thaw out, get room temp and then tune them. Cause it's, they're cold. So everything is shrunk and tightened right now and everything's about to expand as it warms up. So in my opinion, it's completely pointless to spend any time trying to tune these right now. What I can do is fold this skirt properly because nobody ever does it. This is what's called a skirt. It's what goes around the edge of the drum riser to hide all the legs and, and metal and stuff. But if you fold it properly, you okay? it makes it really easy to put on there. Otherwise, when it's all bunched up like this, it's like such a pain in the ass to put on. And I don't know if this is the proper way to do it, to be honest. I never learned how to do like the proper way, but this is what I do. And this is what works. Just fold it into itself with the Velcro on the outside so you just unravel it as you go around the drum riser. This is something I nor normally would make a hand do, but the hands are super busy with lighting and production and stuff that I've just been doing it. It's way easier to do with two people. One person takes one end and you fold it into each other, you know? And I don't want it to go onto the ground because then it'll get dirty. So here's the stage, just like on the Avenge tour, if you guys have watched any of the videos from when we were out with them, they set up all the trusses and stuff first. You can see all these chalk, chalk marks on the ground here. I don't really know what any of this means, but this all this chalk right here is for all this stuff up there. So once they mark that and get everything set up on the ground, attach all the chains and lift it up, everything's where it needs to be. And they'll get like 20 people or so on this and roll this entire thing into place. But David is setting up his drums right now. So he gets to work out in the middle of the floor while they take care of all the lighting trusses. And he'll be done in time for the stage to get pushed into place. Morning, David. Good. You? Every day, living the dream. It's the widest thing I've ever said. And I'm not completely sure, but I th I'm pretty sure Disturbed is traveling with this PA system. So it gets loaded in and hung every day and wherever we play. So we travel with all of it. Morning. And there it is. This is where the rock show is going to go down. Oh, 
so it's 11 10 now this is the part of the day that never gets put on because pyro tests at 2 30. pyro guys are always late not the guys working here but the the fire department are always late so we won't get access to the stage till like 3 p.m so i literally have four hours within that time i'll put the practice kit up but i don't i just don't need to right now so we're probably gonna go to starbucks My dominance is me, well, me. <laughs> so you walk, you did this? You walked here last night? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, last time we were here, we ate there five times, I think. Was it five? Four or five. I tried most things on the menu. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. I kind of wanted to stay here and not go to St. Louis. I wouldn't mind. I don't. I think this city's kind of sick. This one? Yeah. 100%. St. Louis is trash. There it is. Please don't get close. It's the type of place that if you uh, order like Uber Eats or whatever, somebody would bring back from our Starbucks run it's 1140 now and we still got plenty of time looks like they moved the stage into place yep, stage is in place the ball has officially started rolling all right 12 o'clock. Time for catering. You gonna card me? Huh? 10 bucks. I'm gonna get carded. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hello. Hello. Skated right past. She remembers you. Hello. I remember last time we were here, she stopped us all the time. Yep. Well, what do we got? <laughs> So JT, our stage manager, just busted out the tape measure. We are 33 inches from wheel to wheel here. And the reason we're concerned with that is because today, today we're doing a single ramp, which is absolutely terrifying. It's got a nice curve to it too, I see. So this is gonna be an intense, push but these are 35 and 35 inches from here to there 33 inch wheelbase on on the riser so it's barely gonna fit but we'll make it work 109 p.m disturbed is starting their sound
two o'clock. I'm chilling. Well, I'm literally so goddamn bored. So, I'm gonna tap around on these. See where we're at. I'm too lazy to get my Lazy Susan out of the Drumbo. I have to, so I'm not gonna use it right now. I throw the cloth under there to mute, mute the other head. Let's just see where we are. much with the bottom heads they they stay fairly in tune I tune these so low and they're so dead like <laughs> whenever I go to tap tune the top it's like I can't really do much until I'm actually hitting it. That one's very loose. I've noticed on these drums that this this lug and this lug are always higher than the rest. That's fine though. I don't know. I think if you if you try and follow too many rules when tuning drums, you're gonna like you'll drive yourself crazy, man. Like, yes, like nut these are definitely higher than these. Like, it's obvious, but the drum sounds how I want it to sound. So, I'm not gonna sit here and try and get them to sound the same if it already sounds good. Same with like ripples in the head. Like, I don't know, maybe some people's OCD. I'm pretty OCD, honestly, but um, if there's ripples in the head and the drum sounds good, I'm gonna leave the ripples. Sometimes ripples, can dampen overtones, so it's not that big of a deal either. I don't really have a goal with the tone of a bottom head. I just try and get them to sound, I just try and get it to sound even and I go from there. In this drum I have two moon gels on the inside of the drum. Some people use cotton balls. I do want to try that on this tour at some point. See, that one's good. I don't even have to do anything to it. Dude, these drums are co cooperating this tour. It's awesome. But yeah, these are these heads are one show old. Man, I love it when a drum cooperates, bro. And someone pointed this out in another video, and I never even noticed. All the times I've set this cut up, tuned it, changed heads on it, I never ever noticed that this is a chrome hoop. Everything else is rose gold. So I don't know if maybe a past drum tech changed, changed it, or maybe DW sent it like this. Maybe Luke did something with it. I have no idea, but we've got... It's got a chrome hoop on it, and I never noticed. Someone's got a good eye out there, better eye than me. Yo, everybody notices this sticker. I went there with the bass player a few tours ago and just just looked around, and they had free stickers, so I always try and throw stickers on here. And uh, it's super cool that so many people recognize this. It's a cool little record shop. I don't even own a record player. But it is 2.05 now, pyro test. 
is in 30 minutes, Disturb has a bunch of pyro and they have to test everything in the fire department or the fire marshal has to okay it all. So that's, Disturb is done sound checking, but we have to wait on that to get done before we can go on stage. This is gonna suck. Nice and gentle up this. These two symbols can go up. Down stage center, I just use that to get up here. I 
sir. Yeah. Um, I want to check the laser on that. All right, guys. Tom's not touching the snare. Are you happy? All right. Yeah, you don't know it's hard because I've done it every day. I know. Yeah, I know they come off, but I never watch you actually do it. It's a fight. Do it. Normally do it. <laughs> Credit card gap. Holy shit. Almost. Surprise, surprise. I got my camera backwards. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But you could visibly see the wrinkles right here. And it still sounded good. But I just gave these two a little tweak and got rid of them, and it actually ended up sounding better. So I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. So, do you know where the sticks are? Straight back, you'll see the uh, practice kit and the boat's right there with everything on it. I really got to get my 64 ears fixed. Ricky, I'll be hitting you up again. Hey, you doing playback today? I am. I did it last time, last show too. He was stepping it up. <laughs> I don't know a lot about playback, guys. Like, I know how to run it, and I know Ableton, but I don't know how to build a playback rig or anything. I don't know the terminology. I know that we have an A and B, both um, Apple MacBook M1 uh, laptops, and we run Setlist in Ableton. Setlist is super, super easy. If you want to add stuff, you literally click. These are the songs in the set. These are other songs also in the session that aren't in the set. So if you wanted to add something, you click on it, whatever you want, literally hit add to set list, and boom, it's in there. It's it's very, very foolproof. It's super easy to learn. Ableton might take you a little bit to learn though. Free month trial if you go to their website. That's how I learn. Hey, what to you? Hey, hey.
So we're all done up on stage checking and stuff. So in between then, because I know he's not going to use this anymore, I tr I break this down. But, like I have 15 minutes until showtime. <laughs> Pip's got a pee pee. So might as well, you know. Otherwise, I'm literally just standing, standing side stage, doing nothing, staring at my phone, swiping on Tinder. <laughs> I 
I wish that you guys could hear this, but everybody is just telling the dad jokes in the talk back. This is what we do every day. Once we finish with everything, everybody just starts telling dad jokes while we wait. Start the show. Done with 11 minutes to spare. The band is walking. The band is walking. Boring show? Boring show. Boring show. 742, three minutes, still show time. Okay, stand by countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Go for rock show, go for rock show. Just go right here with this, right in this. Perfect. Thank you. We'll just go right in front of this other one right here. Right here is good. Right here. Yeah, good. Thank you guys. Yep. Two days off next. I think it's stoked. Okay. I know I, I did a Q&A video a while ago. People asked if my job is stressful. And when I was just drum teching, the answer was absolutely not. It was, it was, I don't even think about it. I'm just, you know, I'm just doing my thing. I'm just playing with drums, man. Simple as that. But now playback is, in my opinion, the most stressful. Maybe other than monitors, probably front of house. I don't know. I really don't know anything about that, but it's just technology, bro. Like. The fact that like a computer can mess up and I have to troubleshoot on the spot in front of 10,000 people is what gets stressful. And like I got about, I probably got like a thousand hours in Ableton, give or take, but I'm always like in my room just chilling, making like ignorant beats, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm just hanging out. But now that is stressful, I will say. 
Everything went smooth tonight. Everything went smooth the last time I did it. I got about a month left of doing it on this tour. And I think probably if I get a few more sh sh shows under my belt, I'll probably chill out a little bit. But I'm on edge that whole time, dude. I'm checking checking lights. I'm making sure Setlist has the right song next over and over and over, even though I just did it, you know? I don't know, show went well. There's a good crowd here, honestly. They were like stoked, they're hyped. Flames were extra hot tonight. You guys can't see my face, but I'm like wincing so hard, it's so hot. Now, this is where we determine who's start to finish crew. This is where a lot of people, I think it's like 40% of people click out of the video at this point. Are you gonna be one of those people? Don't be that guy. Stick around. This is actually my least favorite part is packing away. Think I wanna be here? I have to be here. You stick this out with me. God damn it. Watch that last ad for me. And this goes hard passenger 90, and then we have the middle, and that's it. And this goes right in the middle. Right in the middle. Yeah. Sick. Sick. Cool. Our job's sick. Pretty cool. Yeah, our job's pretty Not bad. Right? Two days off tomorrow. Yeah, dude. That's what's up. Did you have a good show, dude? Yeah, every show's oh, yeah. a good show. Perfect, you, perfect. Does, does your girl here? <laughs> she sits there. <laughs> she just fucking sits there. <laughs> Not my eyes. That's so it's awesome. Like, uh, I'm jealous. Well, I kind of just sit there too and just do this. I mean, I do this also. Yeah. There it is. Dude, the amount of times I've done that. <laughs> I, I know. Haven't done that yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, dudes. That's a wrap for T Mobile Center, Kansas City. Fire show. Everything went great. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, please like the video. Definitely subscribe. Please subscribe. But, all right, guys. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, comment. Start to finish crew. Where's my start to finish crew? I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, peace.